Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to Little Misfortune. Um, all right, we are on a brand new island full of uh, broken. Oh, we're on the island of broken toys. I see a He-Man and a Super Soaker and some generic dinosaur toys and a rocket ship and a Barbie who's been dismembered. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard. I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Some of the toys seem in okay shape, they're just kind of half buried. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Where are we gonna hide? Behind the log? Oh, it's Ghost Hero! Hey, We're not gonna fall in that, are we? Okay. Can we climb on this too? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, of course. She's got oh, a damn it. My oh. little foot got stuck. Oh, now you're in a perfect position to be eaten. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? We are the monster, right? Look at that hand. Leave me alone. It's all hand. Whoa, that was close. What are you running away from? <laughs> Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. The gaslighting I saw me, it. voice. Sudden moves. He's got a spear. Get up. I don't trust the voice. I'm not gonna do what he says. Oh, your boss, so soft. <laughs> don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it! You're scaring him away. Oh, he's gone. Don't leave, Benjamin. See, voice is the problem. You're trusting the wrong thing. <laughs> Please, Miss Fortune, stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. Keep running after Benjamin. I don't trust the voice. Uh-oh. Woo! That was close. What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh-huh. I know. I could have been more specific. Like, there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. Yeah, you could if you I knew that. By getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers. But it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. <laughs> I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Yeah, now, totally not a thing I made up. The eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Let's read some more cryptic, uh, runic devil stuff. Oh, it's a happy smiley death trap. Let's see what this one says. All right. It's stuck, huh? Uh-oh. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really interesting. It's stuck, huh? Oh, no more, huh? The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. I don't think that means what, what you think you it doing? means. Nothing. 
We keep hiding all of these straw dolls from the voice. I wonder if they're going to play Sir, a significant Miss Fortune, part. I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Oh, no, You're not ready. this again. Wonderful. Creepy now, old man. Just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Well, I hope you do. Um, no, I do not believe in magic. No, that is said. The only magic came from acid. <laughs> but the only acid I know is when I lick batteries. What? Why are you licking hmm. leaking Second batteries? question. Do you trust me? Nope. No, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. She says it's her inner demons and that the Jews keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an no. outer demon. Nah, you can't be a demon, not with a silly voice. <laughs> His voice isn't well, silly. Anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Um... Yeah, who's not? Oh, no, I said no. I'm not afraid of death because all, all, all dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. I gave the wrong answer. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. <laughs> Ladies hate having wet feet. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Oh! Make sure the cabin is empty. And if you see the Fox, run. All right. Yeah, we're not going to run if we see the Fox. It looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> oh. Clean thoughts, child. Clean thoughts. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Okay. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share the prize with us and everything will be fine. Is that knocking from the game? Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. I guess what I'm asking is not, is it from the game? Is it from the game world or is it the, just part of the soundtrack? Oh, a video player. Fun Fun Oh, do I get to watch a video? In woods. Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Monster. Oh! Damn it. I broke Benjamin's tape. Yeah, you don't have to do much to wreak havoc. Maybe I can fix it. Probably not. Happiness to the video player! <laughs> <laughs> what a cozy cow. There's a book in there. Is that Benjamin's diary? Um. Curiosity is killing me. Gonna have a little look inside. By Benjamin Johanelius Red Fox. I must make din dangerous mission, must be done. Is what I train to make. Nervous but is okay. I have study and bigger confidence. I travel from Sinercity Sinner City to Pandora when fog appears. I pack things and is she gonna read all this? So Benjamin's not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. Okay. I love that in a fox. <laughs> I pack things and food. No information on how long stay. I rent cabin until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. After a long walk in fog, I arrived city called Open Fields. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice. Has TV, kitchen. I sleep sofa. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Ate mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep. Try find parasite. Did not find it. Day one fail. Parasite, you say? 
Many victims gone missing in Parasite game. I can't help. Feel sad. I send message to boss. Some victims not coming to Synercity. <laughs> I see Parasite. It scared me. Also not eat more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas. Is no good. Do not eat this mushroom again. Who are the victims? What game? And is afraid of the Parasite? Mushrooms. Serious danger. Not feel good. Danger mushroom. I stay home, cut wood and do tea and root soup. Good taste. I do dolls for victim and pictures. If she sees them good. Parasite recognized. Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play. I has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach good. Oh, poor Benji. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo play old trick many times now. But it make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Boom, boom, boom. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Hmm. Missing? So a Morgo boy? is who's talking it's to us. It's a monster. Boss send me message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside. Hide in trash. I fail find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble. Misfortune watch me. Strange. Why she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe mushrooms tickle again. Oh no, he's in love too. Big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. I see Morgo play old trick again. Victim don't realize all is again. All is again. Must courage and stop Parasite this time. I send many victims to Synercity. I got level 2 protector. I confident. Now, I has primeve illumination cave. Kane. Oh, shake out Benji's stick. That's creepy the way you've been talking. I try primeve illumination cane in woods. Fun. I feel courage. Practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she fun and strong. Or go confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and parasite came. But I'm courage now. I scared only little. Hmm. Yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. <laughs> he loves me. I message boss. I'm doing it today. All steps followed. Prepared breakfast tea. Funny feeling with tea. Herbs from woods are fun. I'm courage and confident today. I ready. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. <laughs> Has to have a job. Um, the meaning of love, the fun stories of a boring man, where hatred wants to be loved, when hatred wants to be loved, communication, key to cooperation, the upside of being a spirit animal, learning how to be gray, life, death after life. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> His iPod is huge. It looks like Benjamin oh, likes I like that enough of Alright, we got some ambient music here. Mmm. That tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's blend. Because I can almost smell his balls blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Um, you know what? We've tried everything else that we shouldn't have. Let's go for it. He said it was funny herbs. Mm. It definitely tastes like his fluffy balls. We're gonna mm. trip out. Delicious. Yep, here we go. Ugh, I feel weird. <laughs> How did you make that hard on the bread? Man, keep some in your mouth, please. Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Toys mess everything up. Oh, 
Oh, we puked again. And you milk? Peanut butter? What? Oh. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Did he take these pictures? <gasps> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Uh-oh. Uh oh, where are you, are you going? Are afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is oh. it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? Yes. I think I saw him too. Uh -oh. You can't hide the children. In the basement, quick. Follow Benjamin. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Follow, follow, follow. There's clearly a monster behind us. Oh, that's where he's shedding. Benjamin, where do you go? Oh no, is this Benjamin? Oh, I mean, it's Benjamin's fur. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Crawl on through. I can't reach it. Oh. I'm a little lady, you know. Oh, it's, it's as tall as your neck. You can crawl through there. When you get the stool. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. You're such a smart girl. Good girl. Time to use my ninja skills. <laughs> Is that her butt cracking <laughs> Shh. What a butt crack. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> this is a ninja mission. <laughs> Benjamin, <laughs> are you here? <laughs> So it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. He is, we Maybe read the diary. Maybe put them for that monster. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Not necessarily. All right. There's a key, but I want to look and see if there's anything else before I mess with the obvious key. A picture of a key. Interesting. Yeah, open it up. Oh, I have to I have to connect the dots first? Okay. Huh, it's locked. Hmm, I wonder if that key has anything to do with it. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Oh, she went to a good ninja school. Real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> A secret button. Push the. Of course we push the button. Why would we not push the button? All right then, I push the button. I'm trying to make certain decisions that make sense in the real world, but of course, if you're down in the creepy basement, you push the button. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's not how those doors work, but I guess. That was easy. All right, time to find Benji. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I hope things get better when I got the eternal happiness. Oh, sweetie, I hope they okay, do too. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. All right. Her get will it, to live. Miss Fortune. She's powering through. This is like Hulk Hogan you recovery are moment. Than you think. Hands up in the air, shaking. You've been knocked down before. On his knees, both arms in the air. Did you let that stop you? Pumping his fist, crowd is going Get wild. Up, Miss Fortune, 
You can do it. He's on his feet. He's walking around the ring, hyping because... the crowd. Because. Oh, yeah. He's ready to go on the counterattack. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. Oh, and then you find out he's a racist. Oh, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? You got some I guess I'm alone. Well, you don't want to be near Mr. Voice. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Your butt's in the air. It's gonna poop on you. Mm, dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> Do you have Lyme disease now? Like something bad has to happen for you petting the baby deer. Is that Benjamin's bug? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, huh, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice. Please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. <laughs> I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Uh oh. Whoa! Stop that! You Let him that? play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. What? I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. No. Tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Whoa. Freaking monster. <laughs> Let's see, see what's inside. Before Maybe we a sparkle it. To find Benjamin. We'll sparkle it after we read it. First, another doll. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you said? <laughs> you sir? What baby Benjamin? Is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. Alright, let's see if she reads it before I do the dumb thing of reading it. Oh, this is really mysterious. Okay, UST. For students of the University of Synersidist Sen Technology. Protector course. Three-step guide. Three-step guide to exterminate parasitic things from beyond. Um, introduction. As the ultra-reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside of the constituted F-R-E-E, -E, five realms of exis essential existence, have appeared. After the Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the Beyond. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra-reality before the ultra-war. <laughs> the beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help the victims and guide them into the synercity. Uh, the guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim the protector returns to synercity, the protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victims and the parasite, protector's parasite case P010122 Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. 
in need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. Checklist of parasite Morgo. Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly yet lures its victim to play dangerous games. It shapeshifts into a human animal creature? Really? It quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for the parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Step 2. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step 3 immediately. Paint? I like to paint. Oh, you're not, you're not miss, you're missing the point. <laughs> Step three, prepare for direct contact with... With the what? Now I will never know. Oh. Sparkle it away. Fix the bag. <laughs> you're such a sweet little... A sweet little monster. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is Morgo sneaking up behind us? No, the fox is behind us now? Is Morgo the fox too? I'm so confused. Said he could become like All a humanoid right. animal I thing. Guess I'll take the train that would so home. be the fox. Can I go past this? No. Aware. Now when I look at this... I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll wait here. Wait, are we waiting for the bus or the train? Because there's train tracks right next to the sidewalk. for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to talk to myself. You're good at that. Whoa, princess so version. Fortune. How have you been? Okay, I have this like weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. <laughs> the train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hero. Oh, we can chunkingosaurus. Can I just... Well, I can actually color it. Oh, oh, it's one of those. Okay. It's like the uh, little water paint things that my kids have. Yep, you can't fill in all the spots. Coloring the clouds on a happy day. Coloring the clouds. See, this is because I brought the coloring book, remember? I could have left it behind. Coloring the hearts. And the... Uh, is this a... This isn't a stegosaurus. Kind of looks like a stegosaurus, but stegosauruses have plates, and not spikes. So I'm not sure what this is. But it doesn't matter... All that matters is the coloring. You're not coloring the leaves, Miss Fortune. Color like a printer. <laughs> or like a sheep, I guess. I'm not done coloring. Don't try to get me to move on. I will move on when I'm done. 
That's why I brought this coloring book. Everybody has signed up explicitly knowing that I may spend five minutes coloring a dinosaur. And that's just kind of like the social contract we signed as a uh, Let's Player and a Let's Player viewer, is that sometimes you'll, you'll watch a, a dinosaur being colored. And it's okay. Sometimes that's what life is, is just watching a dinosaur being colored for five minutes while someone rambles incoherently. It teaches, um, I don't know, patience, stick to itiveness, let you know that not everything's gonna go your way and sometimes you just have to sit through the boring stuff. And uh, I wanna be that guy, I wanna be that teacher. So I'm gonna be that teacher today. And we're gonna say, hey, you know what? It was really boring and I'm sorry I did it, but I did it, I stuck through it. Trying to figure out which parts I actually missed and which parts are supposed to be missed. Come on. Little misfortune. I mean, honestly, all things considered, she's doing a pretty good job. Why are there empty beer cans on the train? Because she lives in a nightmare world where everything is bad. She's doing, like, shading with her crayons, which is pretty good. Did I get everything? Kind of looks like I did. Hey, quasi stegosaurus! Look at that. Next, <gasps> styracosaurus. Ooh, we get better colors here. Yeah, and I realized that this is eating up valuable time too because I'm, I'm over my recording limit. So not only am I doing something incredibly stupid, I'm doing it well past when I should have stopped. Like that takes dedication. Dedication to keep coloring when everyone else has stopped paying attention. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you want to see what the whole thing looks like. Like she's doing a cool like red and yellow, a ketchup and mustard pattern on this dinosaur, and that's that's unique. And you wanna you wanna foster that uniqueness, that creativity. Even when the means for getting to it is really, really wonky. Cause you never know whether your coloring is bad or her coloring is bad. So you just do your best. Sometimes you end up with art. See, like she didn't paint her toenails. Or its toenails, or its toenails, or whatever you want to call it. Oh my goodness, is there more? Is there more coloring to be had? Or is that going to be like the finale? Like, is it saying you're done, you did a good job? You did good enough? When I do this color? <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever. Okay. I might meet you halfway and do like a uh, a speed a speed walkthrough of the coloring. That might be a fair compromise. Well, we got a color. Like, isn't that the whole point of these things? Is to recapture your childhood. And if you were a child, you would color the whole thing, right? So just because I'm a 43-year-old child doesn't mean that I should give up kind of example with that set for all my non-old man followers. <laughs> all, all two of you. <laughs> Alright. It's really kind of hard to babble like this while you're doing something as inane as coloring a dinosaur on a computer game. Um, the topics for conversation you find are remarkably dry. Like, I have new respect for guys that do like, uh, drawing tutorials and art tutorials and things like that online to come up with things to say that aren't completely redundant which I'm not saying that my stuff isn't completely redundant because it probably is <gasps> Qu 
Cryolophosaurus. Now we're getting into some colorful dinosaurs here. We got purple and green. This is like the Joker dinosaur. And I know Styracosaurus is a real dinosaur, so I assume this one's real too. He's like got bright friendly eyes, which is really funny for a, what, 10 foot tall carnivore? Although who knows, maybe bright friendly eyes is a, is a hunting adaptation. Maybe things are more likely to come and be eaten by you if you look friendly and approachable. Kind of like a Ted Bundy dinosaur. <laughs> Maybe this dinosaur pretends that his arm is in a cast. And when other dinosaurs help him out with his luck, <laughs> that's what he eats. Them. <sighs> Come for the childlike coloring, stay for the serial killer jokes. Oh, look! Hey! Uh, I don't feel inspired. Well, that was a lot of coloring. Uh. Whoa! Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. It's not a coincidence. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? Be aware of the consequences. It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! Toskata! Toskata! Um, help Hero. Help him! Hira, He's your friend! Looks ah, ah. a little South Parky Hero does. Did we make it? Okay, uh, I will stop right there. Um, you know, after the coloring tutorial and the um, the child kidnapping by the monster, that seems like a good place to stop, right? I'm not I'm not wrong. That's that's good. Okay, uh, well, uh, we will pick up here next time at the train station and continue on, guys. Thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it, and <laughs> we'll see you for the next episode. <laughs> Take care.